back. In the last episode, I'm going to be recording today. Because of, you know, I have stuff to do other than, you know, record stuff. So, if we re you remember, we were teaming with multiple people. Basically, we came up with these two people. But here's the thing, I am going to rob them. I love how he turns around like this as soon as I say that. That's so funny. We are going to rob them a bit. Not a lot. But a bit. Oh so yeah. Because I do have a lot of things that I love taking. I do like taking things. What is this? Mob farm. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Mob farm there. They gave us some pretty nice armor. I'm gonna go sell something. Be right back. If Sergio leaves, then we'll have a chance. All right. So he just has pots in his. Okay, we'll say AFK. But do we mean it? Nah. We're just waiting to see if Solgio leaves. Wait, so what they gave us, they gave us elytras, and they gave us some armor. That's pretty good. And he just gave me a totem, which is alright. So yeah. Pretty good. Pretty alright. So yeah. By the way, I'll be putting this at a playlist after this video because it takes like four hours to get into this realm because there's so many people in the morning that like to join this and it's really annoying we're gonna stay back sorry I just had to do my little intro there books and other stuff in there. So yeah. I'm gonna use their health farm. Hopefully that doesn't get bad. checking the chests. I wonder if they do know that I'm going to do this. By the way, I'd like to say, though, thank you for all the support on my newer videos recently. It's alright. But yeah, you guys are absolutely amazing. Especially because I had a really hard time actually getting views on the channel recently. It's been insane that a few of my videos have even gotten like 500 views. So yeah, thank you so much. By the way, I'm talking about my short content, which you should go totally watch if you don't really like videos. So yeah. Thank you for support. It's 
tempting because those golds are worth a ton. I don't know if we just bullseye it though. Oh my god, they're stacked. Okay, now nah, we're playing this the long game. I'm talking about both of them leaving game. Because once again, we are going to leave them with stuff. So yeah. We're going to leave them with a few things. However, I want to take that entire book room. That little room over there. I want to take it. I want to take it. Because... Books are extremely hard to get. There is no cows. None. There are no cows. Like, mobs don't spawn. Okay, why? Okay, yeah, I just got a notification that said can upload my video, but yeah, cows don't spawn. You have to buy them from a shop. Oh my! God. I just wanna, I just wanna break all those things right now. I wanna, but I can. I could, but this guy would kill me because PVP. Not surprisingly is on for here. Yeah, they just put another chest down. Okay, he's putting all the stuff in his shulkers into his thing. Let's see. Right here. I can't. Hopefully he didn't see me do that. That's dragon. Might end this video off shortly. And then, like, rejoin. When there's, like, barely anyone on. Because these guys play... Because what time is it? It's 8... Right now. So they play early. They play, uh... So they live probably on the other side of the planet. Then... I know this guy isn't from where I live. I don't know about the other guy, though. Because he joined, or this man joined, at about, like, 11 p.m. Or not 11 p.m., but, like, 1 or 2 a.m. Which tells me that he's going to be playing for a long time. Either... And I don't know about Turtle. He got on not at the same time, but at the same sort of thing. So I say by like maybe three, they're both gonna be gone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. I see that. Alright, I see you. Clearly Sergio's played for a long time. Clearly I'm gonna need some more inventory space to pour all this stuff. Cause remember, I have my spawn point here and you know what that means, I can come back here whenever I want. Which means, I can transport all the stuff to a few chests that I put, like, out of the area of spawn, and then I can transport it to a base. <laughs> or my base, at least. I can transport it to my base. Yeah, that sounds good. So here's the game plan, right? We're gonna transport all that stuff that's in those chests to my base. Once we do that, once we transport that, we are going to definitely have a lot of stuff. I'm thinking it's still going to be that much. Like, three double chests. Place three double chests underground.
But yeah, we'll place three double chests underground until we find a base. Then once we find that base, uh, I'll write down the coordinates of where those chests are. Oh, my battery's low. But anyway, I'll write down chests and I'll write down those coordinates. Okay, okay. I don't think he's gonna take much. Because they're both like the same wealth level. Here, I'll give him some. I got you. I don't really need rare candy anyway. Not after I steal all their stuff. Basically put all those chests that they have now underground. And then we will be on our merry way. Put those chests underground, write down the coordinates of them. Steal all their bookshelves. And then, yeah. Basically we're going to put their entire base into a few chests that are going to be underground. And why are they going to be underground? So nobody can find them except us. Now, how this plan is going to play out, I have no idea. I don't know if they're going to report us. I don't know if they're going to report me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to even see them again without them spamming that I'm a scammer. It's going to be quite the weird and strange plan, but if it works, we will definitely not be complaining about getting armor and stuff. Pretty good for us. All right. bye-bye.